Hello everyone, welcome to the welding workshop. Today I'm going to be with you in order to perform, to show you how you can perform 1F lap joint. As we remember, next time we have seen several type of joint. Today, even if we, 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 was, we, we are going to perform the lap joint, but the remembering that the lap joint, you have to overlap your pieces like this. One piece must be overlapped to another pieces and, the form, and give us the form like this. The next, the next type of joint is like a T-joint. T-joint is the joint which makes like this, which give us the T-shape, T-shape like this. After making the T-shape like this, we put a weld in the corner, inside the corner. Another type of joint is a corner joint. Corner joint, you have to, to join the edges of, of your workpiece and making the corner like this. And then after making the corner, you weld on the top of the corner in order to make a corner shape, which gives us the yellow shape like this. Another type of making a joint is a flat joint, like overlap, overlap joint like this. So now today we are going to perform a, a lap joint, which makes our workpiece to be overlapped one another. By using our flux core according. Today we are going to use the flux core, means we, we are not using the solid wire like this, as we did before. Today, as you remember, next time, last time, we have, we have learned that eh, this sort of wire, even if it is used in a MIG mud welding machine, but after our, the, the weldment of it is not give us the slugs. It's not give us the slugs. If you remember, the slugs is that coat which is to cover your molten metal to protect it to the atmospheric contamination. I think you remember that. But for today, we are going to use the flux core. The flux core is the continuous electrode which is consumed, but that electrode is covered by the flux inside. I think you remember that. This is the flux core welding reed. Before, before making, performing this lap joint, you have to switch on your machine and check everything is, if it is correct, if your machine is working properly. After switch on your machine, you have to check the cables, if it's well connected, I think the MIG welding cable, welding gun, and you check if the half cable is well connected. After checking all equipment on this machine, we check if the gas gas which help us to protect our molten metal and you have to check it if it's inside there is a gas as we see inside there is a gas 
it shows us the gaze which is inside it. And then you open this, adjust, this control valve to adjust the working, pre, the, working the, the, liter, the liter of gases which will be flowed in, in one meter. For checking the gas you are going to flow, you have to, to, to see here, you come here, you place this button and you check the gas. You see the gas flows up to the 15 liters per, per minute. For us, we are going to use 10 liters per minute. You have to reduce, reduce your, your gas up to 10, 10, ten liters per minute. After setting the working gaze, you have to come here to check if the wire feeder is correct. It is feeding according to your desired speed. Now, our electrode comes out and it's going according to the, our desired speed. Our machine, you can setting it automatically or manually. For, if, if you set it automatically, you can push this button to this auto, then you place here one time, only then the electrode continues automatically without any interruption. After checking if it automatically is going well, you see the electrode is continuous without stopping. After finish your work, you place again on the bottom, then the electrode and the wire feeder stop to feeding, our, to feeding gas the electrode. If you, you set your machine to use it manually, you have to place here up to the end. You place this button and you continue by placing. Still, you finish to work your uh, to to do it, to perform your work. So let us use a manual system for this machine for now. Remember, before performing your work. You have to wear or you have to wear or personal protective equipment like a, a welding boot, hand gloves, leather gloves, and you have to remember to protect your eyes. Protect your eyes so that when you don't protect your eyes, you can be, it can be dangerous for you. The rains produced by the welding, it's very dangerous. So you must be protected. Remember now we are going to perform one F, one F lap joint. If I, I say one F, you have to understand down hand position. Because it's one F, it's F, that F means the fillet word. Fillet word is the word you put like in the angle to form like an angle. So here, you remember that I said the, the lap joint, you must, the, the, your work pieces, the work piece, must be one overlap to another one, like this. After setting your workpiece, you have to make a tack weld. You must tack a weld in the, in the middle of the workpiece. This is what we call a tack word.
and then you 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 make another tack world on to other side like this. After make a tack world, you have to check if your workpiece is proper, is proper arranged correct. So now you see our overlapped joint, we can performing it right now, no problem. Let us start by performing our 1F lap joint. You have to start. Let us start. How to control your traveling speed? In order to get a good, a good joint and a, a perfect bead. After finish to wear the one side, you remember because we, we use a frac score, a frac score electrode, you have to remove the slug because the frac score, remember that it has the, its flux inside the electrode, inside the wire. So we are going to remove the slug to see what we did about where our joint. After removing the slugs, you have to, re to remove those, those fumes and removing, even if, if, if there is a, some spatters, you have to remove them. Now see our lap joint is good and proper. So now we are going to do to do what we did on first side and we did to the second side. Because it's too hot, you have to use a hand shield. No problem. Only is it to shielding your face. Let's start. Now we finish another side. We are going to remove the slag so that we see 
if there is no defect on our welding, our bead. I have to remove also those spatters. When I say the spatters, you have to understand those, those things which is attached to the, our workpiece. After removing it, you see how you perf the performance is. This is our lap joint, which is performed by using the See the down hand position fillet weld. So thank you for your attendance. See you next time by performing another type of joint.